Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video I'll be doing a speed test between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, the iPhone 10 is running 12.4 uh, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max is running 13, uh, iOS 13. And uh, this is just uh, the boot test here. Alright, and the iPhone 10 started up a little bit faster. And there's the 11 Pro Max. And that seems to be a common theme with uh, the new phones, is they're still a little bit slower. Oh, I'm sorry, 13.1. So one is running 12.4 and one is running 13.1. So we're going to go ahead and do the app tests here now, calendar. Now one thing I noticed here is, uh, and it could be different if it's charged all the way up, but because it was in, uh, because it had just hit low battery, uh, it could be that the iPhone 10 is just uh, a little bit slower than it should be because it's on a lower, lower battery. Um, so it could be different if it's uh, fully charged, but it's a little bit slower than the, than the 11 Pro Max, and you can kind of see some stuttering and stuff as I'm bringing up apps. Yeah, you can kind of see it there when it when I pop up the apps. So it takes a little bit for it to pop up. But otherwise it still seems to have decent performance. <clears throat> We're just checking the fly over here. And one thing you can definitely notice with uh, the new phones is they have very good graphics. Uh, the chips are very good and it can handle all this vector rendering and everything really, really well. The iPhone 10 you can see, is struggling just a little bit because it's you can see it going through and still uh, populating the different vectors in there. All right, now weather. Reminders. Bring up a new note here. Yeah, just a little bit faster on the 11 Pro Max. And stocks. <clears throat> and so I'm going to close those and try again because it uh, popped up with the welcome screen. So. All right, not too far off. And yeah, they load the article pretty quickly. The news, and news is gonna have that welcome splash screen again. It's because I just restored that phone, so it was uh, doing the, re the welcome splash screen every time. But you can see it wasn't too bad. 11 Pro Max, just a little bit ahead there. Books. And I'm going to get a welcome splash screen again. But you can see the 11 Pro Max is just a little bit faster, just a hair faster in certain things. So, <clears throat> And there's health. And then uh, wallet, or home, I'm sorry. All right. And then wallet. And you can kind of see that stuttering with the, with the iPhone 10 when it pops up with certain things. Go to these different tabs, so the games tab. And then podcasts. Try that one more time. Yeah, not too bad. 11 Pro Max, a little bit faster there. Apple TV app. And I keep getting splash screens every single time. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, iTunes. And the iTunes store loaded way, way quicker on the uh, 11 Pro Max. I'm going to see if I can 
Yeah, you can see a little faster. And then the trailer popped up just a hair faster on the uh, on the new phone. I'm trying to remember where I was. <laughs> All right. Uh, files. The Find My App. Let's see. Phone. Safari. Apple.com. And they're really close. And that's one thing I noticed is that Safari is really well optimized on all the phones. So there shouldn't be a huge difference in how they load websites. And you can even see that part of it loaded first on the uh, on the iPhone 10. So that was kind of interesting. And now the messages. And they pop up about the same time, the music app. Yeah, it still has that stutter. And then go to the For You tab. Try that again. All right, Control Center. And Notification Center. Both are pretty good. Yep, and there we have it. So just a quick speed test between iPhone 10 <clears throat> and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, I'm showing the folders here in the Watch app. I'm obviously forgetting some of this stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're not too bad. I believe that the slowness on the iPhone 10 was just because of the um, because it was low in battery, but uh, yeah, still not too bad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope to see you in the next video.